Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I got this super inexpensive protective style using Brazilian wool, y'all. Let's get right into it. So first things first, you guys know we have to get these parts looking nice and crisp, you guys. I already did some of the parts off camera in the bathroom so now I'm working on the front as you guys know I like when my parts are super nice and crisp so I'm gonna part my hair check it out see how it looks and then I'm gonna go in with some shine and jam y'all I'm gonna apply the shine and jam to that part and then I'm gonna take the comb again and go over it again just to make sure that my hair is nice and sleek and to make sure that my part is nice and crisp So for this protective style, I am going to be doing Jumbo Senegalese Twist, you guys. And I am going to be using the crochet rubber band method. It is the easiest method, in my opinion, to do twists or big jumbo box braids, y'all. Like, this is the way to go. So as you guys saw, I applied some shine and jam to the base of my hair. And now I am applying the rubber bands. I will say, before I applied the rubber bands, I did put oil on the rubber bands you guys i use my amla oil on the rubber bands and this just helps with making sure that my hair does not snag fool me once fool me twice when you're hiding things might as well be lies can you ever get it right how long will i let this lie hit up my girls pull up i'm outside wait about a curb to upset to drive you get no money we gonna get lit on this ride i look too good to fight don't expect me to come home tonight don't worry about me see you in the morning but you never thought that i would leave think i had about enough i mean hold up so i'll be using the brazilian wool knitting yarn you guys for my hair this is such a beautiful wool you guys the texture is everything and it literally matches my hair perfectly you guys so right here in this footage i'm just trying to figure out how long i want it to be and it's crazy because at the end i did have to cut it because it was still a little bit too long for me you guys but here i'm just trying to figure out the length and trying to figure out the thickness with this you guys you can have free range with this however long you want it to be you can do that however thick you want it to be you can do that but you can see right here this is about how thick i ended up keeping it for each part that i have you guys so this is the thickness right here all right y'all so now it is time for the crocheting process as you guys can see i've already done some in my hair and they are absolutely beautiful so to crochet this hair in i like to just split it in half just to make it a lot easier for me to add the crochet to that section so i am rolling the brazilian wool i am attaching that to the crochet needle closing the latch hook and pulling it right through and then once i pull it right through i'm going to repeat the same steps with the other half of the hair So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of shine and jam to my hands and then proceed twisting. So you guys, I actually twisted this as tightly as possible. I did more so like a rope twist type of twist. I didn't twist it loosely, just so that it could be really nice and neat. And then I really just twisted it all the way down. And then once I got to the end, you guys, I added a rubber band. So for the style, you guys, I did use a little bit under two bundles, y'all. So I still have so much wool left. So I am going to be dropping a few more styles using this Brazilian wool, you guys. And as far as the hair, y'all, I absolutely love it. I still have it in my hair right now, and it's been about two weeks. And my hair still looks really nice and really fresh. As I said, it blends really nicely with my hair. So I do love that about this wool, you guys. And I like that it's inexpensive as well. Trying to get you to wake up I ain't coming, don't wait up Can't ignore my intuition 
attention, baby I know you're typing every game you try to play So I'm almost done with the style, you guys. I only have a few more to go and I'm just checking it out to make sure it's looking how I want it to look and I am very much so pleased with it. So now I am working on the last twist, you guys. This style did not take me long at all. I really took my time with doing it and it was just so easy. I wanna say it took me maybe an hour and a half to do this style, so not bad at all. I do have 19 twists in all in my hair, so as I said, Said it didn't take a long time because I don't have a ton of twists in my hair and I use the crochet method so that made it a lot easier for me So y'all, I am all done with my hair. So I just wanna show you guys how the ends look. As you guys can see, they're just a little bit too long for my liking right now. So I do need to go ahead and cut them. I wanna cut them like to my chest area. So that is exactly what I am going to do. So I place another rubber band right where I want it to be. And then I just cut off the excess hair. Come and don't wait up. So I forgot to come back on camera to show you guys a clip of the ends of my hair. So this is some footage from my phone. As you guys can see, the ends look really nice. It is a really nice length. If you guys are interested in more protective style videos, I will definitely link my protective style playlist on my end screen. Definitely check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wait.